good point. Listen, I get it. I totally get it. Very few people have the vision, the wherewithal, the guts to be a pioneer. I'm not saying I have all of that. I'm just saying every now and then, no, let me put it like this. I've been told that I'm the kind of guy that takes a, I'm, I've been told I'm the kind of guy that makes really weird spur of the moment decisions. When in actuality, I've never made a spur of the moment decision. I rarely go with my gut. What I typically do is I'll have something come across my desk, if you will, and I'll study it, I'll look it up, I'll do research, and then, and I do all of that without alerting anybody. So when anybody finds out something I'm doing, then they're, they're like, where did that come from? Because I don't really talk about what I'm doing until it's done. Right? Now, I've started several businesses where I talked about it up front. But you kind of have to in your network marketing because you have to try to get other people to do it with you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You have to have uh, affiliates. You have to have all these people. Because in order to make any real money, you have to have a bunch of people. I know people that are making, you know, 10, 12, 13, 14, 20 thousand dollars a month, but they got thousands of people in their business that have to stay there in order to make that money. So, but me, occasionally I'll come across something that I, I say to myself, there's no way this can be true. And then I do the research, and when I see it to be false, I step away from it, and you never heard of it. But if I see it to be true, and I have factual data, you guys know me. I don't do a lot of speculation. Either I have factual data, or it's bullshit. Right? So, two things have, been, have become a part of my life in the last few months. And if you didn't take the time that you had off your job or furloughed or whatever, if you didn't take the time to, to research some things while you had that free time, that's on you. But for me, I've always had free time. So I always do a lot of studying and researching, which explains why I come across stuff that most people don't. Classic example. My business, ABS Inc. Aggregate Business Surplus is the name of my company. The website, I have two links to the same website. One for SEO reasons, the other because of the name of the company. Aggregate Business Surplus. The website is abizsurplus.com. A is an apple, B is in biz, A biz surplus.com but for SEO reasons I also have the website Twin Cities Pallet Company dot com so when somebody searches you want pallets in the Twin Cities they might link them there that's just SEO right but I own both of those I have a pallet company I broker pallets for corporations and businesses. That's what I do. And it's all phone work. I do it on the phone. I call a business, find out what kind of pallets they use, how many they need, how much they're paying. I save them money by going and getting them the same deal, same level of quality, for less money. Phones. That's it. This has turned into a checkbook. Now, as of today, and I learned how to do this business in October. 
late September, early October. So in less than three months, I have a significant business. And I have six, six subcontractors working with me in this business. When I tell you, you could be making more money than you've ever made in your life, doing less work than you've ever done in your life, you should pay attention to me when I say that. Because that's what I do. If you know how to use a phone, and you know how to follow up and you got a little bit of hustle muscle. Get at me. You know where I am. But again, today is 10.30. It's 10.30 on, what's today's date? I don't know. The 15th of December. And I'm sitting in my house. Because now, because I have all these brokers working with me, I don't have to be on the phone all day. They do. Because they know what happens when they make good calls. They make good money. 50% of the deal, as a matter of fact. Who do you know pays 50%? I'll wait. So, that's what I do. Is it innovative? Not really, it's just wood with nails in it. The concept of doing it the way I do it is innovative. But I didn't even innovate that. That was brought to me by a video I watched on YouTube, JT Hustles, talking about John Wilker's business. So I looked into it. It was expensive for me, but I figured it out. Now I'm glad I did. I couldn't be more glad I did. Because now I have a business I can give to Kingston. I can leave to anybody. But I don't have to leave because I'm not going anywhere. And I'll explain that to you in a minute too. But that's known as new tech. Using old product. But using a, a new technology for getting it from point A to point B. I'm very proud of that. The guy who created the system even told me, you've taken it to the next level. Yeah. And those six people I'm working with, they're all over the country. New York, Chicago, two in Chicago. New York, two in Chicago, two in the Twin Cities, uh, one in North Carolina, and one in Dallas, and one in Atlanta area. And I could literally have 50 in each city, and it wouldn't matter because there's so much business. So are you sitting at home and know you're not going to get your job back? You need to call me. Never made phone sales before? If I know you, I'll teach you. If I don't know you, I'll show you where you need to go to be taught. It's crazy. Can I tell you it's nuts? It's crazy. All right? But that's one step. Second step. Come on with me, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't make enough money. I already told you where to go for that. Come on. Come on back. Come on. With that, I'm out of here. It is quarter to 11. I'm enjoying life right now. Can't wait to talk to you soon. Peace.